Hi guys, first of all, another massive well done for conquering uh, maths, paper one, and for all of the exams that you've done so far, well done, you're awesome. So, looking forward at paper two and paper three, of course, we want to know what should we be revising. So, this video is, as you probably know, from probably searching for it and reading the thumbnail or title are the revision topics that I would suggest for papers 2 and 3 for AQA higher maths. Two disclaimers. If I sound knackered, I've been stuck in the hospital all day. So, I am. And if there is a lack of finesse in the video editing again i apologize i want to get this out as soon as possible so time is precious disclaimer number two i can't see the future yet uh so these are not guaranteed to come up these are what i would highly recommend from having researched what came up on paper one and what loves to come up on paper two and three. So, of course, just because a topic has come up doesn't mean we won't see it again. Sads and indices, for example, love themselves. So, they like to come up. Okay, so, armed with coffee and a bad sense of humour, let's do this. Okay, so if you're awesome and you know it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you're not already, get subscribed to the channel. I have a couple more past paper walkthroughs, November 2018, coming up that you're going to want to see. So, first up, down in the description you can find my playlist containing every AQA past paper walkthrough in one playlist. Pretty awesome pretty useful. The next thing I would highly recommend doing is checking out this video. Make sure that you are completely happy or as happy as can be with all of our formulas. One notable one that I'm going to point out is area of a parallelogram. I've seen people, so many people in the past lose easy marks on this. The area of a parallelogram is the same as a rectangle base times height. So also from this video you can find the PDF copy of my formula sheet which you can print off, do with while you please. Second video I highly recommend checking out is this guy. In papers 2 and 3 think of your calculator as a weapon. You want to know going into battle how to use your weapon uh, as well as possible, get it to do as much of the work for you, um, as much of the heavy lifting, make sure you check out this video. Okay, on to the topics themselves then. So, I'm going to put in the description links to playlists and specific videos that I have on any of these topics. So, first up, trigonometry and Pythagoras. Now with trigonometry, that's sock tower, sine rule, cosine rule, area of a triangle, half a b sine c. Trig graphs and Pythagoras, normal Pythagoras, and trigonometry and Pythagoras in 3D shapes. Pairings and angles, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, circle theorems, whole playlist on these and a PDF containing all of them, like my formula one. So I'll link those down below. Solids, so 3D shapes, surface area, volume, cubes, cuboids, prisms, cylinders, pyramids, that sort of thing, very worth checking out. Um, similar shapes, 
again, quite self-explanatory. Some of their shapes are linked by what's known as a scale factor. Angles are the same. Sides are multiples of sides of the big shape are multiples of the small shape. Uh, next up, sequences. So when you're up higher, it's quite a lot here. Uh, arithmetic sequences, which means you add the same number to get from time to term. Uh, now also, sequences might be called progressions. A progression is a sequence. So we got arithmetic, geometric, where we multiply by the same amount to get from term to term. Fibonacci, where you add two previous terms together to get the next. And quadratic sequences. So videos on all of that are in my sequences playlist down below. Okay, next up, speed, distance, time. Sure, that also includes distance time graphs and velocity time graphs. Uh, things like acceleration, when you get into the graphs, rates of change are the gradients if you have a curve. So you see that you have a curved velocity time graph. To find acceleration, you need to find the gradient of the curve at a specific time. You draw a tangent to the curve at that point. Uh, I've got speed distance time stuff down below. Quadratics. So much to do with quadratics. So expanding brackets, factorising them, solving them, completing the square, using the quadratic formula, drawing their graphs, so much. I got a big playlist, check it out for anything that you're uh, crusty with. Uh, circles and tangents, sorry, equations of circles, equations of tangents, whole playlist on that down below. Equations of straight lines, this also comes down to, or includes, graphs of straight lines. So, most notably, Y is MX add C. Again, uh, I have a playlist containing all this stuff. Gradient, parallel, perpendicular lines, graphs, etc. Down below. Algebra. Now then, this guy gets an underline. So, saying there's algebra on a maths exam is like saying there's going to be words in an English exam. So, algebra. Such a broad topic. Okay, so things like expanding brackets, factorising, fully factorising, solving equations, inequalities, quadratic inequalities, simultaneous equations, quadratic simultaneous equations, simultaneous equations using graphs, algebraic proof. Um, what was I about to say? Algebraic fractions. I know they've come up. I saw one set of papers where they were literally on all three papers. So again, just because they've come up doesn't mean they won't. So I'll stick all of my relevant algebra stuff down below. Uh, functions. Functions. Love it. Most notably, composite functions and inverse functions. I'll play us on those down below. Iteration. Iteration loves either paper 2 or paper 3. Now iteration is a piece of piss as long as you know how to use your calculator to do it. Iteration is basically free marks. So I'll stick my video down below. I did do it at a time when my throat was dying. So Bear with the voice uh, and the method, I promise you, is going to get you easy marks. Okay, next up, graphs. So again, quite a vague topic headline. Um, so, straight line graphs, 
finding gradient, recognizing that gradient is a rate of change, transformations of graphs, which has also just reminded me of another topic that's not made it on here. Um, patch graphs, the trig graphs, quadratic graphs, um, I think that's all of the craft stuff you need to know. So everything I've got will be down below. The thing that I've forgotten to put on one of these pictures is transformations of shapes. So reflections, rotations, translations, and the other one, enlargements. So I think I've got a bit on that. If I do, it will be down below. Okay, next up, percentages. Again, a very vague topic headline, so percentage change, calculating percentages, using your calculator, that's in the video. You don't want to be on calculator papers doing percentages manually. So you don't want to be finding 10% to then find 3%, stuff like that. Your calculator can do it instantly. Learn how if you don't know. Compound interest, simple interest, um, things like that. Playlist down below. Histograms, lovely. Histograms and frequency density. Video on that down below. I promise you, histograms are not as scary as they seem. And there is a trick to them to be revealed in the video down below. Next up, data. Data and box plots. So, sure. when it comes to data, things like calculating mean, reverse mean, which has just reminded me, reverse percentages, for percentages, um, calculating median, mode, and range, sticking them in box plots, reading and interpreting box plots, usually that's about the range, the greater the range, the more spread out data is. So, I love that, learn it. Uh, next up, bounds, bounds and error intervals. Now, bounds are a complete ball lake, error intervals are really simple. So if you still don't know what error intervals are, they will come up, they love them, video down below. Bounds, I think maybe I've got a video somewhere, if I do, it's down there. Um, Venn diagrams, so Venn diagrams and set notation. Now this rolls over also into probability. It's pretty much guaranteed you are going to see probability on both papers. So under that would come tree diagrams, frequency trees, things like that. Uh, so probability <laughs> is a big one. Fun diagrams, quite likely. Uh, loci. So that's when we use compasses and rulers to usually cut straight lines in half, um, creating the perpendicular bisector or bisecting an angle, cutting an angle in half, or finding a certain region that satisfies certain criteria. Playlist on that down below. Uh, next up, proportion. So direct and inverse proportion. Definitely going to come up. Important stuff. They love it. Playlist down below. Okay, and then the last thing I recommend is recurring decimals. So, converting those into fractions. Usually a nice three mark problem. Nice to be able to do, we like three marks. So, that guys is my recommended revision topics. By all means, this is not everything. Not all of this will come up. It's just what I recommend strengthening if you know that they are weak points 
I hope you found this useful guys. Any questions, let me know down below. Give us a thumbs up, get subscribed, you're awesome. Take it easy, take care. I'll do more videos in the run up to Paper 2 and 3, so see you there. Take care guys.